What's up guys? Thaddeus here and today we are actually gonna share. Um, today we're gonna talk about how I actually go about sourcing um, these dropshipping products for Shopify and kind of how, how, how I determine you know what what products are going to sell without having to actually experiment with my own with my own money, right? Because when I started I had no money. And I'm sure some of you guys out there were in the same position that I am in. That's okay, because like it's all about bootstrapping. And we're, 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 I'm gonna show you guys how to bootstrap effectively and source these products that are guaranteed to sell, that you know are trending, you know are like like hip right now. All right. So what we're gonna do is, I mean, first before I get into the laptop, if you guys are like very very new, what what I do is right, I use Shopify and I use Oberlo. Okay, Oberlo is how I source all the products from AliExpress. Now with AliExpress, there's 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 thousands of products to choose from. Okay in their kind of inventory. And we pick, we, we, we pick for products from there on like a certain criteria. And through that criteria, uh, we kind of like are able to gauge how popular a product is without having to actually use our own money for testing with like Instagram influencers and paid Facebook ads and all that kind of stuff. Cause that, that's how I that's how I market my traffic, right? So again, if you guys are super new to this channel, whatever, my name's Addis, I'm 19. Dropped out of college after one year and I, I got started with dropshipping. I do a bunch of other stuff now but I still do drop shipping. And basically my, my kind of strategy, my method that I just rinse, wash and repeat is I create a site and I use Instagram influencers for the first month, okay? And I drive traffic through that for the first month while I have a Facebook pixel installed on the website that like collects all the data. And then I begin with Facebook paid ads after about a month in um, using kind of that data that's gathered for that past month to kind of scale up the site while I'm continuing these um, Facebook or Instagram, Instagram shout outs. Now, how do I know kind of what products um, are gonna sell. And the reason I brought up the whole Instagram thing is because when I make a site, I don't I don't source my products first and then start marketing, right? I, I kind of have an idea for a product or an industry in my or a niche in mind. And I go out, I find competitors, okay, because one competitor means that there's money in the area or like in the in the space. Um, you don't want to go into an industry with no competitors, right? Especially if you're like kind of new, just because there's probably no money to be made, okay? Because this is drop shipping. It's one of the easiest industries to get into. If there's no one there, there's probably a reason, okay? So don't do that. Now, you wanna find an industry that has like a plethora of competitors, right? That's a big word. You, you wanna find an industry that has a bunch of competitors because if there's if there's an abundance of competitors, there's an abundance of money to be made like in that, in that space, okay? Through those competitors, like how are you gonna find those competitors, right? You're gonna find influencer pages, okay? These are, these are, these are like themed pages, um, that kind of just post or curate content like around the industry like fashion like men's fashion, right? That's that's what I do that like there's a whole kind of industry of like Instagram influencers And there's like there's 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 hundreds of, the, of these pages that have like over 400,000 followers right? And you go to those pages you find you find them right and you, you find competitors through those pages like you see them advertising on those pages, right? So one you already found your outlet for advertising right by finding those influencers Two, you, you, you validate your product idea by, by seeing competitors advertise those sim, like same or similar products, okay? So that's kind of how you go about validating your idea and kind of moving, moving on from there. It's like, and, and now, now like how do you find the exact like products that you want? Um, that's where we're gonna hop into the laptop here and peep the screen, all right? Sweet, okay. So now we are seeing the screen. We're on AliExpress right now. We have the Overlow extension installed, which you always want, so you wanna be on Chrome for this. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. Actually, I'm burping, I lied. Okay, um, like, I, like, I, like, like I preach, right? We're driving traffic through Instagram. Um, that's kind of how our funnel works to our website. And we, we have like a product idea in mind. Like, like if, if we found themed pages on Instagram that, 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 that other people are advertising like bracelets on it or like something like that, we see similar bracelets, okay? Then like that right there validates our product idea. Like we know there's other people selling the same stuff and they're paying these like influencers like ads. So that means like they're, they're, they're generating some sort of like return on investment with those ads. So we know that people are buying them, okay? Now that's kind of how we like validate the idea. Now how do you go about finding it? Like it's literally this simple. So we search up, let's just say, I'm just gonna search managed bracelets again just to kind of show you guys this. Now, AliExpress is gonna go down to best match first. Now th this, is, this is a good way to go about like finding like interesting products that you think will like be trendy and sell. Um, what I usually do though, is I just click orders here. And now we're gonna like, it's gonna search by like the, the, the most popular products on AliExpress. Now like, now, now how do you know what products are selling? Well, all these other sites are drop shipping from AliExpress. <laughs> these products with the most orders are probably being drop shipped the most, which means they're, they're trending right now, like they're hot, okay? Like this one, it's, it's a freaking B bracelet guys, like, the whole, the whole, like the the bees are going extinct thing. I'm sure someone's capitalizing on that. That's fucking genius. So, like that, that's thirteen thousand one hundred thirteen orders. All right. Now, this is how you can go through and like scroll through these products. They're they, like to me, these don't look that nice. Like I probably wouldn't buy some most of these, but um, they're trending. Like 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 the orders, the just like the sheer volume of orders right there. 
kind of tells you like, okay, a bunch of fucking people bought this product. It sells like you, you don't, you don't need to test your own. Like you don't need to upload it to your site, invest money in traffic or paid ads or influencer ads or anything like that. And then just to realize, Oh, this product doesn't convert that well. You can go right here on Oberlo and look and just see like, okay, this is over 5,000 orders. It sells now, like depending on your, on your, I guess like your niche, like what, like how, how you're, how you're kind of branding your site. Like, are you a luxury brand? Are you, you know, a, like a, a super discounted brand or something like that? Then you can kind of gauge the products from here and kind of base them off of your brand. Right. But and even if you're like a luxury men's fashion thing, like these Buddha bracelets, I sold these on my site as well. They sell like crazy and like every, everyone buys them and they're super easy to upsell and like downsell with when, when we use those apps I talk about in my course, always plug the course guys. I do have a course on like the whole entire setup from start to finish um, on Shopify. I know I have to plug it guys. Like this is, I put in hours on that course guys, like days and weeks. And okay, so <laughs> that's my course, link in description if you guys are interested. Um, it's a full walkthrough. Now back to this. So with these bases, okay, we, we already validated that, that they're popular, right? This is over 6,500 orders. Now we look at the reviews. It, it's, it's almost five stars, okay? With three, over, over 3,000 reviews, right? So that's over 50% people actually leaving review on that. Now just judging from social media, I'm sure some of that can be uh, fake. Like, like the supplier will kind of add in a bunch of their own reviews or something like that. But without that, we, we've kind of already validated that the product is popular, the product is trendy, and it sells, okay? So we already know it can sell like we don't have to do any extra like hassle on our end to make people purchase. Now it's just coming back to our site and coming back to our marketing tactics on how we actually want to go about delivering the idea of the product to the customer. Okay. So how do we do that? Right. Again, it's all about finding competitors and finding influences in your niche or niche. Right. So we're going to do that. We're going to go out and find them. Um, I talk about my course, you know, we compile a whole list of influencers and we narrow them down based on like all these different criteria, um, down to 10 and down to five. And then we have that, but what, once you guys find your influencers, okay. Um, you just email them, get your shadow race to do that. Look at what your competitors look at. Look at what like their verbiage, how they're portraying their brand. Um, like, are, are they are they a luxury brand? And then like, how do they how do they phrase certain things? It's all down to like the tiniest things because with these shout outs, with the Instagram captions, you get like you you get like one sixth of their screen, okay? While while someone's scrolling through the feed, okay? And like with that, what like your words have like half have to captivate like these people or get their attention or the picture, the picture is usually what's going to get their attention first and the words kind of have to close them. Right? So you're, you're, you're like, it's, it's, a, it's a salesman. Okay. First of all, your picture, um, you can post these pictures off of AliExpress. They work. Um, obviously like sometimes I will like touch it up with just adding my, my, my store's name in the picture just to give it some form of like exclusivity. Um, just so it doesn't seem so generic, but then with the, um, with the shout outs, right? You, you can sometimes introduce like a 10% off code. Um, if you're using my method and you have the apps installed that like they give the discount code pop-ups, that kind of stuff like that, or just like the, there's the free shipping, um, or like the free product, just pay for shipping that method. Um, I feel like that's sort of dying off now just cause every, everyone uses it cause it works so well. There's, there's different ways to kind of deliver that product to your, like to your customer in terms of like marketing, uh, just in terms of like gauging how well a product will sell guys. It's, it's really not that hard, right? So we, again, we just went through AliExpress. We just searched up a product that, that, that we've already like, like hypothetically, we've already validated because we found competitors and we found um, influences. Okay. I'm, so, I'm so hot. I'm sweating, but I don't want to take this off because I'm wearing all black. I look weird. Okay. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, so hypothetically, like we, we like you've already found influences. You've already found competitors. Okay. And so, so you know, like, okay, they're selling these types of bracelets. I know people are buying them if, if they can afford to continually market these bracelets. Okay. Like they're generating some sort of return on investment with that. Now through that, you're going to um, basically go on AliExpress, search up similar products. You can even sell the same exact product and just beat them price wise. If you want to just do them dirty <laughs> and steal, steal their, um, steal their audience. Hey man, if, if someone, someone's going to do it. And if you aren't the one doing it, someone's going to do it to you. <laughs> it's just a pricing strategy, especially with drop shipping, right? Margins are already paper thin. So there's different ways to do that, but we go through AliExpress. We find products that, 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 that we know will sell. Okay. Because like we can see the amount of orders that people have purchased through them. Um, a majority of those are most likely to be drop shipped orders. I mean, now we're starting to see people actually like, like customers purchased through AliExpress because it's kind of becoming popular, but there's still a huge, 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 huge market for people that are just drop shipping sites. And so a lot of these orders are coming from these drop shipping sites that use like overload or other stuff and just to kind of um, drop ship the product. Now we know the product sells because of the amount, like the volume of order. Now we just have to like be the one selling them. Okay. So again, it comes back to like your website, how you're portraying your brand, um, the influencers you're using, the photo you're using and the caption, right? So again, finding the actual product is, is probably the, the easiest part. Cause we know, we know it sells guys. We like, 
it literally saying, okay, 6,000 pieces have an order, like literally 6,573 orders for this bracelet, okay? We know, <laughs> we know it sells. We just have to be the one selling, okay? So then we have to, you know, go back, find the influencers, find the competitors, find, like, I know I'm saying this a lot, guys, but like, like I'm trying to like ingrain that in your guys' head because it's, it's not a complicated process, but it can be confusing if not done right, or like it can just be a total mashup and like a failure if it's messed up. But again, there's no need to invest your own personal funds in testing a product to see if it sells, okay? I've never done that. Again, like, because I, I had no money in my bank account. I couldn't afford to test a product with my own money to see if it sells on my own site, okay? I just look like, all right, this guy's selling this. He'll be making money from it. Like, I see this company, like, advertising on multiple themed pages on Instagram. I know they have money to advertise on those pages. They must be generating some sort of return. So, therefore, the product is selling. Now, I just go find that product or a very similar product, put it on my site, beat them. If you can't beat them price-wise, which is the first way I go, then you got to beat them, like, aesthetically-wise, brand, like, brand-wise, website-wise, like, how you kind of portray it. Or you can do like the, like you can offer deals or just beat them out in like discounts or just other marketing tactics if you can't beat them price-wise. Because price-wise is the way I go for drop shipping um, a majority of the time. That's just the easiest way. Now, with that being said, guys, uh, that's, that's, that's really the gist of it. If you do have questions, leave them below. I promise I will answer them. Um, and again, guys, I hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Again, leave comments of like future videos you want me to do because uh, like, I'll literally make videos on, any, on anything you guys want uh, just to like kind of help you guys get to this level of um, like dropshipping success. Now, what am I going to say? Oh yeah, I do have, gotta always plug guys, I'm sorry, but I do have that course, link is in the description. If you are interested, it literally walks you from start to scratch on how to build up on like how I made like 72,000. And again, if you guys haven't seen, back to the finances, this is um, this is from my $20,000 in 20 days because again, I didn't really show any, show any uh, what, proof of income. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, check out the course, check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.